Es gibt vielleicht ein Bild auf tausend, das einfach da ist. Aber ich glaube, man hat immer irgendetwas im Sinn, dass man sucht. Aber das, die allerbesten Bilder, ist immer irgendein bisschen Glück dabei. Man sieht zwar alle Elemente, aber vielleicht ist das allerhundertste, kleinste Ding, dann kommt einfach das noch dazu. Fotografen sollen schon auch Glück haben. I don't remember how the conversation started exactly, but somehow, uh, you know, over the course of this short weekend, we came up with this idea of an adventure or, or, or a plan, something to kind of continue the legacy, to um, continue this kind of journey or this thing that had been handed on from Inge to us. I don't know how it happened, but um, by the end of the conversation, by the end of the, the lunch, we had decided that we were going to take a bus and convert it into a gallery and drive it along the river and take Inga's work back to its source. In a way, this project, it's about lots of different things. It's about, it's about Inge's work, it's about continuing the legacy of her work, but it's also um, about women in photography. It's about showing that we can um, uh, get up and do things and you know, pull something like this together. This trip was actually a a dream. I wasn't really sure what, whether it was going to happen or not. There was discussion for two years. The thing that was so exciting is I've known all of these women's work for so long and really been hu you know, a huge fan of their work. And so to get to meet them in person was just phenomenal. I mean, it's funny because I kind of felt like I knew them before I actually met them. La esencia del proyecto es esta, coger el trabajo de Inge y devolverlo a sus comunidades. ¿Cómo hacemos esto? Con un camión, un camión convertido en una galería y viaja desde el, desde el origen del río, desde Furpagen, en la Selva Negra, en Alemania, hasta el Delta, en, en Tulcea y Sulina, en Rumanía. En todos estos lugares hemos hecho eventos en realmente diferentes espacios. So the father, the truck is an exhibition itself, is unusual and brings the work outside and to the people as opposed to being housed in an institution, doing the night projections on the side of the truck, and that's made it accessible to lots of different people, whether they're just walking by or they intentionally came. We arrive in a place that we don't know, we meet fixers and in, in, in a sort of period of an hour we're supposed to sit down and explain to them what we're doing and then go out and shoot. And we have all these moments, all these memories, all these pictures, and I so often like think of something and I cannot remember which place it was in and I have to really like think to work out what was where because it's so fast, so changing. I always travel alone. I mean, I, I don't like having big groups around me. I want to get close to people. So this was so exactly opposite and it turns out I loved it. I was with a group of people all the time, um, amazing people, and uh, you know we traveled together, and I learned so much from everyone, and I felt like I left a better. I mean, I just I feel excited. It was liberating. I, you know, I, I, I feel really excited about my future work because of this experience. It forces you to kind of break down all of those boxes we put ourselves in and start looking at the world very differently than I, I have in the past. Lola, Lola, say cheese. One, two, three. Okay.
One amazing thing about the river is that we, from the very beginning in Germany, we changed many places and the cities and the country really changed a lot, but the river was there always. So you just count on the river. You know, it's something that gives you like, you feel safe when you see the river because it's something that doesn't change. I mean, change because it's getting bigger and bigger, but it doesn't change. It's something that makes you feel comfortable. There was one night when I needed to shoot at night, which I wanted to kind of um, take an idea that Luna's obsessed with, which are fairies, like Tinkerbell. And um, we had been watching Peter Pan a couple weeks ago. And um, Tinkerbell was always this little light in the old Peter Pan movie. She was just this little ball of light. And then Luna was like, oh, the fairies and live in the trees. And she was showing me a book. And I was like, oh, you know, we could do the fairies in the trees, but it has to be at night, of course. And, she needs to sleep at night. So they fell asleep in the car and I parked it and basically stepped out of the car and there was the forest started right there and I just started playing around with the flash right there. So that worked out. Delimitas un territorio de forma racional y mi territorio, en este caso, es este río uh, como metáfora de una inercia vital, de un borreguismo y de una desapare desaparición de, del hombre en sustitución de las cosas y el dinero. Busco ese instante en el que hay algo que indica humanidad, esa luz, ¿no? esa luz en medio de, de toda esa opacidad. No te hace falta eh, entender el lugar, si tú lo que estás intentando fotografiar es algo que es más sobre ti que sobre ellos. Es como tú, otra vez, ¿no? como tú utilizas y necesitas a esa gente fotográficamente. One of the things, obviously, that I wanted to do was not, it's not just a project about being in love, about couples in love, it's about the ups and downs of love, so it's also people out of love or people, you know, the, the difficulties and the, you know, the loss and, and, you know. And another thing that I did um, is that I've, I've been asking people um, if I can photograph 
any objects that they have that are related to their, their relationship or their past relationship or the, the, any sort of sentimental object. Just photographing them in a very simple way as, as objects and that's been quite interesting as well to see. It's not about saying something this way or this is good or this is bad or this is how it is, but, but if you collect enough things and you find the right way to put them together, you can let people come on your journey with you through all these different experiences and, and meet all these people and let them make their own decision. That's Hemos tenido dos días en cada lugar que hemos recorrido y me tengo que adaptar a ese tiempo, ¿no? Entonces lo que yo estoy haciendo es vida cotidiana al, eh, en los lugares donde hemos estado y trato de trabajar eh, lo, el más tiempo posible en cada lugar, caminando, 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 encontrando lo que está a mi alrededor, platicando con la gente. Trato de hacer paisajes urbanos, ¿no? Me gusta siempre que las fotografías, en mis fotografías aparezca la gente. Lo que siento o lo que he vivido lo tengo que reflejar en mis fotografías. It's really interesting. It's really different than I expected. I think it's really amazing to be with this group of women because I know all of their work. And I'm also from Romania on my grandmother's side and I've never been here. So there's a little bit of a like returning home type of feeling, even though it's for a very brief amount of time. I think when I was young, I probably saw Joseph Gudelka's photos on gypsies and to me they were just impossibly romantic and, you know, this kind of fanciful, you know, exotic wonderland. And Romania has such a strong mythology and it has always sounded so mystical. So when the project idea was sort of presented, I was immediately excited that I would go to Eastern Europe and I would be able to go to Romania and you go and you see and you and I react to what I see rather than go in going I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that because then you're not learning anything along the way if you already have your idea fixed. I just want to communicate with 
humans on an experiential sort of basis and then for the picture to, to be the words. My idea originally was more conceptual because it was such a moving, we weren't really staying in one place, it was moving constantly. So my idea was in general just man and, uh, and humanity's relationship to the natural world. That's really what I wanted to explore. And uh, you know, in the beginning I started with more conceptual work and then by the end of the trip, you realize that even if you don't spend a lot of time, I mean years, on a project, everybody has a story and, and there are incredible stories here and I, I hope to come back actually and keep on working on, on this project. When do you make this sleeper we say? Oh, okay. September, October. I'm here with my daughter, who's a year and a half old, and her presence plays a really large role in my experience of the trip. So I needed something that would allow me to go a bit deeper and that would also encompass my own personal experience on this trip as a mother. Um, and so I decided to look at what influence and impact does a mother have on a person's life. And the Danube is seen as a mother figure, it's seen as a female river, and it's seen as sort of this mother figure mythically. And by looking at motherhood, I'm able to look at how the past and the present interact, I'm able to address different histories, and having that um, relationship as the central focus has allowed me to access a lot of other things that I may not have had access to otherwise.
Okay, for you. But what? We had, I think we had enough in the Laguna. Yeah. Yeah. Push. Let the pay for the Parece antinatural juntarnos ocho fotógrafas, pero la verdad es que la experiencia es única en, en la vida de una fotógrafa y el, el conjunto de historias será la narrativa de, de este Danubio visto hoy en día por nosotras. It's not just a road trip, it's not just a, it's not just a jolly. We really want to make good work, so there's been, yeah, it's been, been quite, quite a lot of pressure, but also, I mean, amazing to see what you can do when you're really pushed under. And the time and the most uh, amazing moment was when we arrived at the the Black Sea, the beach, after four hours in a boat, after walking under the sun. It was like I don't know, like finally reached the end, and arriving at the end was like a big, like a big emotion, like, a, like I don't know, like a, a kid, a run through the sea. <laughs> 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 <laughs>